Welcome back. You're back, Kyle. Wow, what an event. I arrived at the movie theater parking lot and uh, I realized that the whole parking lot was packed. I mean, almost every single space taken up. Anyway, I walked in the lobby. I walked into a lobby full of half girls wearing pink and half just regular looking people. And I wondered, who was going to see what movie? Anyway, I got my tickets. I went into the theater and I sat down. I sat down next to some teenage girls that were just talking and talking. Anyway, about 37 minutes go by. And then I realized Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling are in Oppenheimer. And I was in the wrong theater. Anyway, the movie was good, but it didn't blow me away, pun intended. And you know, while we're talking about it, why didn't everyone dress up for that movie anyways? I mean, when I was in the lobby, I saw plenty of people wearing pink and floral shirts and all sorts of things. But when I was in the lobby, I didn't see anyone dressed up as 40 soldiers or they're wearing suits from the era. I, I didn't see any of that stuff. I didn't see anyone dressed up as Einstein. I didn't see anyone dressed up as Adolf Hitler. Come on. I didn't see anyone dressed up as a burnt husk from Nagasaki. I really liked the scene where the oppie signal went off. And he said it's op in time and then he blew he flew into the air with a nuclear blast and he was like it's it's oppenheimer i am become death oh speaking about that i, I love the scene when they quoted it during when they were having sex or, or the other scene where they were having sex in in the interrogation room oh Oh, or the, or the scene where, where Oppie was talking to Iron Man, and Iron Man was like, I am Iron Man, and then Oppie was like, it's op in time, and then they flew off together, holding hands. And then he was like, Oppie, uh, Oppie, uh, you're cool. And then Oppie said to Iron Man, he was like, you're just a shoe salesman. And then he died. Oh, yeah, also about this movie, uh, uh, Killian Murphy, Chilean Murphy. Oh, also about this movie, Chilean Murphy, just look, look at it. Look. Look. Look at it. Oh, also, this movie's not as cool as Fallout. Back to the real part of the review. The movie was well directed, stylish. It had a huge cast. He had a whoopa. Had a huge cast with dozens of actors, each giving a very good performance. But still, it was so boring to watch. I mean, I honestly have nothing to say about it besides the soundtrack was good. It had, uh, like, sirens and radioactive crackling and a piano that pulls at your heartstrings. Also, Killian Murphy gave a, gave a great performance as always. I mean, he's good in a lot of things. I totally bought him as Oppenheimer and same goes with a bunch of other actors in the movie. And you know what? It was really good to see Robert Downey Jr. as a villain. Hopefully we can see more in the future. Yeah, the filmmaking's always good with Chrissy Nolan. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Christopher, you were writing the movie script. Uh... I gotta say, I really liked the black and white stuff. Uh, had that hard, classic lighting I really love. And I have to say, the, the visual representation of the atoms and, and the universal concepts that, that Oppenheimer was thinking about, really interesting. You know, the lighting and the visuals were well done, but it wasn't anything too experimental. It was pretty basic for the most part. It didn't seem to be the, the focus of the movie, though. It was more about story. Okay, speaking about, I can't believe that everyone was super pumped about the fucking nuke being CGI, like, not CGI. Because, like, 
yeah, of course it's just going to be like a gasoline explosion with some like sparklers or whatever. It's it's a Hollywood movie. What are they going to actually set off a fucking nuke? What are you talking about? I mean, it's not going to look like a real atomic blast with a fucking mushroom cloud. That's it. It really didn't stun me. I don't have a much to say about it. Uh, the whole movie ramped up tension the entire time. And it kept building and building and building. And still, it wasn't even that interesting. It was just whatever. Also, it didn't help that I was in a movie theater that was packed. And, like, there were a bunch of people talking and... The dude behind me, like, cracked, like, seven sodas during the movie. Like, he fucking brought him in. <laughs> I mean, it was totally worth the watch. At least once, right? Uh, but honestly, I could have just stayed home and watched Caddyshack for, like, the seven millionth time. So, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, I observed that this movie was shitty and lacking a little bit. God, I'm gonna come off like such a fucking asshole in this. But in all reality, it was fine. It wasn't that bad. Worth a watch. It just wasn't my cup of tea. There were better Nolan movies. I like Nolan's other stuff. Uh, expect some more serious reviews in the future. Uh, this was sort of serious, but you know, it's not that interested, so I had to meme it up a bit. And that should do it. Been your pal Cal.